Craig Go Cycling. As most of you know, I'm Craig. And if you haven't watched my channel before, welcome. It's nice to have you along. I'm still in Cornwall. This is the last day of my two week holiday here. So I'm trying to make the most of it. Uh, didn't get up too early this morning. It's about nine o'clock now. I've been out for about an hour. Uh, only done 15 miles in that time. However, I've done nearly 1400 feet of climbing. And if you've ever been down here, you'll understand why. I got the some hills, but it's beautiful. It's really scenic. Despite the hills, it's lovely. It's just brilliant to be down here. So I'm now heading on one of the little back roads into Perrinporth. Um, and then I'm going to head back down into Newquay. Uh, just to get a little coffee and a croissant at Salt D. Coffee shop and then head back down to the caravan park and then myself and Kathy and we'll be back to Perrinport do a little bit of shopping and hopefully if the weather stays like this we might get on the beach for a little while. So I'm probably five miles away from Perrinport which means I've got a brilliant brilliant downhill into the little town but I've also got an absolute killer climb out of it on the other side up past the golf course. Um, yeah, it's a horrible, it's one of the worst ones around here, I think, and they're all pretty bad, so. Anyway, enjoy some of the countryside, and I will catch you all shortly. thing that's quite different about my rides when I'm down here is that none of them are balls out training rides they're all just gentle zone two nothing strenuous um, you have to put quite a bit of effort into the climbs obviously but the rest of it there's no real no real big efforts when I'm down here I like to take this more of a pace of life more at the Cornish pace of life where everything's just that little bit slower down here uh, yeah it just it's just a little bit more enjoyable than absolute flat out balls to the wall uh, training rides but just about to descend down into Perrinport now so I'll catch you when I've done the climb out of Perrinport wish me luck Join me after the climb out of Perrinporth. Bloody hell. 41 seconds down on my personal best of 5 minutes 8 seconds. I've got nothing in my legs. I felt quite good on the flat bit at the start of the segment. But as soon as I hit the climb, I was like 10 seconds up to start off with. And then it dropped down to 9, 8 and 5 and 4. Oh my god, anyway, that's the last time I'll do that climb this year, I'll conquer it next year, see you in Newquay shortly. Well, welcome back, I 
thought I was putting an effort in up there. I've just caught up behind this cyclist. Laying down with panniers and everything. If I thought I'd had a tough climb up there, oh, climb it. I wouldn't fancy doing it with that, with panniers and everything, all that gear in there. Well, I'll see if I can catch up with a little chat with them in a minute. Be right back. So you joined me um, just after the climb out of Perrinporth, which uh, it hurt my legs because I haven't got a lot in me today. But then I came up behind this cyclist here. Um, and he's laden down with quite, quite a lot of gear. And you are? My name's David Martin. Um, I travel over here. Uh, I flew over from Belfast um, to Exeter to the train to Penzance and then uh, went to Land's End and I'm cycling north. When he says cycling north, he has just told me just before I started recording he's actually going to uh, John O'Groats. So you're embarking on, at what age are you if you don't mind me asking? Because you, you have told me earlier that you did this when you retired. Well so yes, I, was, I did get early retirement, so okay. I'm 72. Okay, 72 years old and he's decided to cycle from Land's End to John O'Groats, laid him down with quite heavy gear by the looks of it. So, what is it that made you do it again this time? Well, I just... I, it's, it's difficult to know, it's difficult to understand cyclists, isn't it? At yeah. times, I just felt... I just felt the notion. Yeah. But one more time, I had to try it. <laughs> well, one more time and he's on his way from Land's End to John O'Groats. So, we're almost at New Quay now, so what are we about? 80 miles into the journey maybe possibly possibly like and you're hoping for how many how long do you think this is going to take you well i'm i'm i, I i'm not in a hurry i yeah. can't be in a hurry yeah <laughs> <laughs> um i'm saying two and a bit weeks perhaps two and a bit weeks to do what about 900 miles uh, or is it about a thousand well, well it depends which route you go isn't it the, the first time i did it it was actually exactly 1066 miles so okay i'm expecting something in that region well 1066 miles in two and a half weeks at the age of 72 i'm going to take my hat off to you because i don't think i could do that right now not with not the way my legs are feeling so <laughs> well congratulate me at the end you yep. know. <laughs> okay we'll do well so people who normally watch my youtube channel you see me doing my you know, it's, it's pretty much dedicated to my racing and a few club rides so it's brilliant when you're out on your bike and you just completely by chance meet somebody and you hear a story like this this is one of the great things about cycling the people you meet the stories that you hear on your way on your travels it's amazing i love it and if i wasn't cycling i wouldn't meet people like david here who's embarking on this great journey so all i can say to you is just good luck with your journey ride safe yeah. and yeah i'll uh, i'll drop you a link give me your phone number i'll drop you a link to this channel and you can uh, have a watch of it okay thank and then you very much. Can, and you can let me know how you got on because i would love to hear how you do okay i'm grateful for your interest and uh, pleasure to meet you yep, thank brilliant. you well that's it and people i'm heading on to new key and i'm going to go and get myself coffee and a croissant at salt b see you in a bit another holiday in Cornwall drawn to a close this has been my last ride while I've been down here it's Friday Friday morning half past ten um, so gonna go to Perrinport this afternoon then out for dinner tonight and back up to Ilkeston tomorrow um, I've managed to get five rides in while I've been down here it's not bad considering three three of the days were horrendously bad rain was terrible and the wind has been really bad as well today is the first still day that we've had where wind speed was only down to like three or four miles an hour um, at the end of every ride apart from once I went out one evening so I didn't manage to get here but on all of my other ride, morning rides I always finish here at Salt D um, coffee shop in UK it's a little place you know I've said before I found it last year and I just fell in love with it I thought it was a great place a great atmosphere and I've been thinking about what it is that sort of draws me to it because there's loads of coffee shops they all do the same sort of thing but there's sometimes things are just a little bit different and don't get me wrong the coffee's great here the croissants and especially the armor ones are absolutely stunningly amazing um i just wish they were a bit closer to us so i could have them more often but i think what it is 
from following them on Instagram as well, you see a lot of what they do, it's very community based here. They do a lot for the community. They do a lot for young mums and dads as well. They have they have like the, the, the dads only stroller groups and things like that. So they, they, they're not just a coffee shop, they're a hub as well, where they have people come and they meet and they go off out and they do activities together. And it sort of struck me that it's the same reason that I was drawn to Vela Bavarian as a cycle club. Vela Bavarian is the same thing, it's a shop, but it's more than just a shop and more than just a club. It has a real good community feel about it and it makes you want to be part of it. You see what's happening on, you see all the, the Instagram posts, it's the same with Vela Bavarian and Salt D. The Instagram posts and what they do, they make, they make you want to be part of it and to come here and it's great and that's what has I've realized that is what's drawn me to here it's, it's the sense of a community feel about it and I love it um, it's exactly like I said what drew me to Vela Bavarian and so here I am again another 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 morning it's sunny this morning there's no wind no rain at the end of a bike ride with a coffee and a croissant just watching the world go by at my favorite coffee shop in Newquay so to Topher, his wife and all of the staff here thank you for looking after me again this year um, hopefully I'd like to think I'd be back at the beginning of next year but I don't think that's going to work it's probably going to be September again so Topher, your wife everyone at Salt D thank you so much for what you do here thank you for the coffee thank you for the croissants and I'll see you next year so that's me done now it's about a mile and a half ride back down to the caravan park and as I've said on another video it's all downhill so I can just take it nice and gentle and then it's a uh, drive over to Perrin Porth where we're going to have some lunch and then maybe a little waltz across the beach. One across the beach, maybe an ice cream as well. So that's it from me. Everybody, whatever you're doing out there, enjoy life. If you're out there cycling, do it safely. Ride safe, have fun and I'll see you again. Take care.